Hello, how are you today? Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Fine, fine. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. Let's see. We have one minute for everybody to connect. And Good then... evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Excellent. Sixteen November sixteenth already, right? Okay. Let's see, we are eight. Mm -hmm. Let's see, tell me present as I call you, Adolfo Rivas. No here, Adolfo. Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofia. Adriana Sofía, Ana, Brenda Alexandra, present teacher, nice, Claudia Guadalupe, Claudia Guadalupe, uh -huh. Cruz Antonio, present teacher, David Alexander, Present teacher. José Alberto. José Alberto. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Mauricio Emilio. Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl. Zulma Yanet. Present teacher. Ok. Víctor Manuel. Víctor. Víctor, Víctor. <coughs> Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present teacher. Okay. Let's see if there is anybody that connected after I call you. Adolfo Rivas. Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Sophie. Sí, sí. Ana. Claudia Guadalupe, José Alberto, Present teacher. José Alfredo, Carla Lorena, Mauricio Emilio, Nubia Zulema, Saúl, Víctor Manuel, Okay. Well, we are all, well, 11, right? 12 with me. 
Nice. We're passing half of November next week, Black Friday, right? <laughs> next week will Black Friday. Okay, I'm going to share the screen with you. Same. November 6th, 10th, that's the day. And today uh, the topic is a sketch a basic plan to select a 3PL. That's what at the end you will be doing, uh, selecting a plan, right? Or a sketching a plan to select a 3PL provider. And we're going to be giving suggestions to the plans that everybody will be presenting later. Okay. Now, I have an activity in which I need that you move. You will be moved, uh, in different rooms. I'm going to be sending you and moving you. And you're going to find... You're going to find someone who... Check plays a musical instrument. Someone who travels to another department. Someone who has more than two children. Someone who works on the weekend. Someone who has a pet dog. And someone who doesn't like drinking coffee. Okay, how are you going to find these people? You will be moving around in the in the rooms. I'm going to be sending you to the rooms. I'm taking you out and moving you to other rooms. And you are going to ask, do you to find, right? Do you do you play a musical instrument? Do you travel to another department to work? Do you have more than two children? Do you work on the weekend? Do you have a pet dog? Do you like drinking coffee? And check. If the person tells you yes, you write the person's answer, the person's name here, right? If you ask, for example, you ask, uh, Fernando, do you play a musical instrument? And Fernando says, no, I don't. You ask another question to Fernando, and then you ask this question to another person. Say, Carla, do you play a musical instrument? And Carla says, no, I don't. You have to ask that question to other people until somebody says yes, okay? Because that's why it, it is called find someone who, right? So here you're going to write, if Carla says, yes, I do play a musical instrument, you will call, come and write Carla. Carla plays a musical instrument. But if Carla says no, you don't write her name, okay? And remember, and that's why I'm going to be moving you because you are not going to ask more than one question to the same person. So if somebody says yes for one question, don't ask another one to that person, okay? So at the end, you need to have six different names. Mm -hmm. So you cannot repeat the name. Is that clear for you? Yes, teacher. If somebody if somebody answered yes, you write that person's name here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you don't ask any other person any other question to that person. You already say yes then you have to keep the other questions for another person. Yeah? So you don't tell me, ah, Adriana Sofia, she has more than two children. She works on the weekend. No, only one answer from one person. 
If that person says yes, that's it. You write the name of that person and you ask the other questions to another person. Okay. Any questions there? Questions. Yes, teacher, no teacher. Is that clear? Is that clear teacher. for me, teacher? Okay, teacher. Tell me. <clears throat> Is he alguien? Uh, if someone say no to the first question, uh -huh. I ask the second question. Yeah, you can ask the second question. If that person they say, asks no to the second question, you can ask the third question. And if uh, the person say no to all the questions, if that's it. it. That, if it is in drinking coffee, no problem. Because in that okay. case, you have to find somebody who doesn't like drinking coffee. Okay. It won't be me. Okay. <laughs> it won't be okay. Me. <laughs> okay. It Thank you. Be somebody else, but not the teacher. Okay, because I like drinking coffee. Okay, ready. I'm going to send you this uh, to the WhatsApp. So you get ready to interview people. Let's see, let's see. Oh, where are you? Ah, here you are. Okay. <clears throat> here we go. I'm sending you in pairs. Seven. Okay. Go ahead. Join, join, join the group. Mm -hmm. I don't have. I don't have invitation for the group. Me neither. Okay, check now. Ah, okay, okay. So sorry. Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> that teacher. Okay. Okay. Check, check. Claudita y Carla, try to join. Number six. Doesn't like, doesn't okay. like. But you, if, drinking if coffee, you, and I like drink coffee. Okay, so I'm I'm Greco. Yep. <laughs> now my okay. turn. Uh -huh. do, you, do you play a musical instrument? Yes. All I, right. Yes. Okay. Okay, bingo. Then I have. Uh, you have to get out from this room and ask to another people. <laughs> yep. Okay. The teacher is going to to do the magic. I'm going to send you to some somewhere else. All right. Hi. Hi, Maya. Um, let me give me a second. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Fernando. Uh, hi, uh, Jose Arnoldo. Hi, yes. Uh, I start or start you? You start. Uh, you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> do you travel to another department to work? Um, yes, I did. I did travel okay. to San Miguel in okay. 2021. Okay. I got my answer then. I T sure. How many questions did you answer? I'm waiting. Uh, I just have one. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm going to resend it because I had. You I said had, one per use one person. Yeah, I know. I know. I took you out because I had people who never moved. I moved them to another group and they stayed there. And then there was somebody alone. Vamos a ver. I was alone. Yeah, I know. I know. And I was sending you somebody else who never arrived. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Vaya, vamos. Join, join. Now you go in trios. Some of you go in trios. Nice. Jose Arnoldo, Jose Alberto. Nice. <laughs> Do you have a pet dog? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like drink coffee? Yes. Uh, the, no. uh, the, the question is doesn't like. And I like. No, but coffee. the question is do you like drinking coffee? So if you like it, you uh -huh. say yes. If you say uh, yes. yes you don't write the name of the person. If the person says no, then you write the person's name. Okay. Hi, hi, Carlita. Carlita, Carlita. Mike. No se le oye, Carlita. Check the microphone. Quizás les al convendría salirse, vuelva a ingresar y cuando ingrese, dígale que le activa el, 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 el micrófono. Eh, lo activa ella. Ajá, ajá, o sea, ella que lo active. Salgas e incorpores. Se ha puesto conectar con el audio. Cheque, Angelita, ah. eh, hable. Hola. Eso. Hoy sí. Hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí. I but, was in the computer, but I have a problem with the audio. Ah, sí. Mm, I have to. To move to the cell phone better. I have to connect with, with the. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, sometimes it's better with the cell phone. Vaya, pues, hoy sí, ya estamos bien. Ask the questions to each other. 
the questions that are in the chat. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going. Ya terminamos, estaba con Brenda y a salir me iba para entrar a otro grupo. Vamos a ver. Ya la muy buena. Adriana María. Adriana no, Adriana Sofía. Ah, pero se fue Brenda, entonces no, yo le traigo a alguien. Ah, ok. Es que si se salen, creo que no se pueden ir a meter a otro grupo. Mm, ok. Por ahí está José Alfredo, pero no sé si está. Hello. Hi. Hi, Adriana. Hi. Hi, hi. Okay. Do you play a musical instrument? I played in the past guitar. Okay. But now I don't play it anymore. Mm. So I I don't know if it applies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Adriana Sofia. Do you have more than two children? No, I don't have more than two children. Only one. <laughs> Enough. Me too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a pet? Yes, I have a a dog. His name is Coqui. Y José Alfredo está por allí o no está? José Alfredo, hello. Oh, sí. No, did you? No, no. No creo. O quizás no le sirve el el micrófono porque hace ratito escribió en el chat. Ya lo vamos a mover a otro grupo. Ok. Imagen que aquí se supone que hay como cinco gente. <ríe> y de cinco solo hacemos dos. Cruz. Tiene cruz. Hello. Ah, pues así. Hello, hola. I'm here. Cruz, do you travel to another department? No, I don't. Do you play a musical instrument? No, I don't. Do you have more than two children? Yes, I yes I do. <laughs> <laughs> I I have three children, two boys and a girl. Is it a hard work? <laughs> I see Adriana Sofia thinking about another one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. Sometimes, but I remember that it's a hard, hard work. <laughs> hard work, definitely. Okay. Uh. uh... Okay, but I can uh, ask you, uh, do you have more than two children? Do you have? Do you do have? You have? Yeah, do you have? Do you have? No. All right. Do you work? <laughs> yes. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi, here. We're done here. You're done. You completed all the questions. No, we. I complete uh, only two names. Let me see. This is okay. I'm going to take Adriana, and I tell I take somebody else. This is number K, number one. Number two. Number oh, no, two. number one. Yes, number one. Ay, espéreme que se me atravesó alguien por aquí. Sí. <laughs> ah, perdí a Brenda. Aquí hay this. Number one. Yes. Hi, Brenda. Good evening. Hi. Hi, so, Fernando. Do you, want to ask, do you want to ask me a question? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. I first. So, 
Do you play a musical instrument? Yes. Uh, how every, do you play a every... instrument? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, my turn. Okay. Do you play some musical instrument? No, I don't play. Okay, espérate que los chichos están mal. Yeah. Do you travel to another department to work? No, I don't travel to work. You have more than two children? No, I don't have children. You work on weekends? Yes, I work in the weekends. Hi, Brenda. Hi. I have I have that that question uh, complete. I have a name on that question. <laughs> okay. It suppose I don't I didn't have to to ask for that, right? Which one? Uh, if I have a name on the question, it's ah, you don't have don't... to ask it anymore. If you already uh -huh. have a question, you don't, okay. you don't okay. have Do you have that's a wow. bad that's a bad thing? Has... <laughs> Do you have a pet though? Do you yeah. have? Do you have? Yeah, this question, yeah. The answer would be Fulanito has, but in the question you say, Do you have? Okay, thank you, teacher. Um, teacher may, may, you, may you switch me? I need to answer two more questions. Okay. Let me see, Nubia. A Mauricio, me va. <laughs> this is room three. This is a craziness. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're jumping from group to group. I know. I know, I know. Okay. Uh, Nubia? Hi, Fernando. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm just a little hungry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I ask you? Uh, sorry, what? She Can I ask you? Ladies first. Okay. Do you play a musical instrument? <laughs> yes. Really? Yes, I play guitar. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. It's my turn. Do you play some musical instrument? Carla, do you play a musical instrument? No, I don't play a musical instrument. You don't play. Do you like drink coffee? I like drink coffee. And Mauricio? Ya se fue. No. Why is that? <laughs> Send you to another room, Mauricio. Teacher, do you love coffee? Of course, I do. Yes, the vitamin morning, morning <laughs> and night. <laughs> I love coffee. If I don't drink coffee, I have a headache. Mm, that happens to me too. A humor. If I, no, I don't get angry, but I get a headache if I don't drink coffee. Me too. So I have to. And uh, yeah, you travel to another, do you travel to another department to work? Yes. I have to travel to San Miguel. Anita, tell me, how is the situation in San Miguel with the volcano trying to erupt? Have you seen the volcano? No, I, I don't know. Don't you know about the volcano? No, what happened? 
You that have to is. watch the news. <laughs> sí, Carlita, Yesterday, they, they are telling us that the volcano was hitting. It is humo. throwing smoke and ash. Well, since, since yesterday. yesterday. Since yesterday. No, I don't know. <laughs> so watch the news. Yeah, Carlita, you have no. I don't watch the news. <laughs> I only have in the world. In, in, I come at the house in, in my God. I said, oh, oh, I'm going to ask Carlita how's the situation there in San Miguel. No, I, I don't know. I, I, I have to investigate. <laughs> You have definitely. <laughs> Do you have a dog pet? A pet dog? Yes, I have five pets. What? <laughs> five five dogs and five cats. Wow. <laughs> That's a zoo. <laughs> At home. That's a zoo. Brenda is coming. Hi, girls. Do you like <laughs> coffee or don't you like drink coffee? Ah, Brenda told us that she doesn't like drink coffee. <laughs> yes, I like drink coffee. Ah. I don't say don't like it. <laughs> ah, me, Jose Alberto fue el que dijo. Jose Alberto say <laughs> he hates. Ya me acordé que José Alberto fue el que dijo. You don't like drink coffee? I, I love coffee. Okay. Here we have three fanatic coffee. <laughs> yes. And somebody have three children? <laughs> no, I have two. Ana is planning to have two more. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, no. Just one. <laughs> And your baby around you, he was saying, Mama, please, no more. Carlita, how many uh, siblings, no, como se dice, hijos? Brothers, so how many children do you want me to have? I have two children. Two. But my, my children have to, my, my children is? Are? 20, my children are? 24 years. You have the four age. children you have, Carlita? Two. Two. Okay. In in, in my daughter have ha, my, my daughter is, are is. 24 years. And my son is are six. 31 years. 31. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Imagine, yeah. Okay. Um. I guess I will take you out now. Those one minute. Okay. Did you find all the names? Okay. You didn't find all of them. It was too difficult. In my case, yeah, teacher. Okay. You found all? Yeah. Oh, perfect. 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 What about the others? How many people did you find? Me, teacher. How many did you find? 
six people. Oh, you found all. That's nice. Yes, yes, yes. Hey. Everybody found all the names? Me too. No, but I don't. You didn't? I don't. Mm? I have the six, but I I am not sure with, with one. Oh, so <laughs> no, I'm not sure with one. Six, including me. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Six, including you? No, no, no. no. I have six. Six in total. Yes. I only have three names, teacher. Only three? Yes. Okay. Now, let's see how a, if you found all of them. Who wants to share? Who wants to share the first one? Me, teacher. The screen. A ver. Mimi, Mauricio. Tell me. Oh, pero yo a compartir, compartir, oh, compartir. Okay. Sure, no problem, that's okay. Tell us. Okay. So, <coughs> I, I need to read or use share? No, read it. Nubia plays a musical instrument. Wow. Jose Arnoldo travels to another department to work. Cruz Antonio has more than two children. And Alicia works on the weekend. Adolfo has a pet dog. Jose Alberto doesn't like drink coffee. Okay. Jose Alberto doesn't drink coffee. Jose Alberto. What do you drink? <laughs> yes. And where do you live? What? For a moment, in another for a planet. Do you never taste the coffee of Metaphan? For a moment, I only the 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 como se llama el único. Uh -huh. But the only. I have a partner. Who? <laughs> Adriana <laughs> Maria. Yeah, that's why I drink coffee. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> My God, how can you survive without coffee? That's with a tea, with tea, with tea. Okay. Yes. <laughs> only water. Only water. <laughs> only water. You don't have a person. <laughs> only water. This. Hmm. Water. <laughs> have a question uh, yes, Alberto uh -huh. do you drink beer I, I don't understand <laughs> do you <laughs> what is that what is that <laughs> he says that he doesn't like the amargo he says teacher no 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 it's a healthy drink drink Be beer are sweet, for example. Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Before three. <laughs> After the three, you don't notice the flavor. <laughs> nah, in my home, in my home, I, I have a plant, uh -huh. a miracle fruit. And you take a fruit and you prove in your mouth and then you drink beer and it's sweeter like a Splenda, for example. It's really? terrible. Yeah. Really? And look at Adriana Sofia. She wants to, to try. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> to see if it is true. No, really. Well, I, I don't like beer. I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol, only coffee. Coffee, I drink about three cups of coffee a day. It's no more. Bad, coffee is bad. No, but three is okay. 
because I don't drink it very strong, just. Agüita de cangrejo. Yes. Just to have something warm when I'm talking. Or the water. And water, I don't drink cold water just at that time. I had to take care of my machete. Okay, let's see, Nubia. I was curious with Nubia. Nubia, what musical instrument do you play? I played uh, the violin. The violin? Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Let is me it, see. Is the violin new from you? You can take a piece of, for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we won't have she, to. She has to give a demonstration for us. Yeah, <laughs> we won't have okay. to use it too because it's original music, right? We will <laughs> tell me that I don't play any. I will, I will be. Uh -huh. I will be wait all the night. You will be waiting all night, yes, for the serenata coming from Nubia. <laughs> Se quieren dormir. Oh. <laughs> used, to, used to play the violin when she was in ninth grade, but now she has no time to practice. But I think if she practiced, probably she will remember what she used to play. Uh -huh. Brenda, tell me. No, sorry. Yeah, I sent a uh, unhappy face for oh, the I have <laughs> a happy face for for unhappy because I I don't have time. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you play a musical instrument, Brenda? No, um, never to learn is very sad. Okay. Because I like it, but I don't. Yes. I don't. Okay, I need one more volunteer to chair. Somebody else? Who will we discover? Aha, uh Rosy. -huh, okay, teacher. <laughs> David plays a musical instrument. Alberto travels to another department to work. Cruz has more than two children. Carla works on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Carla has a pet dog, five dog and five cats, teacher. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Listen. <laughs> and, and Alberto doesn't like drinking coffee, only beer. Only beer. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No water, right? Okay. Only water. I don't know what's the, the what's the <laughs> yeah. It's spiritual water. Okay. <laughs> David, what musical instrument do you play? I play flute, trumpet, and piano. Oh wow! I imagine. I don't know what. Something told me that you could play the piano. We want a, a concierto. <laughs> right for the last day of class. The Christmas. <laughs> the Christmas. The Christmas. The Christmas. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Very eh? excellent. Excellent. Okay. Vamos a ver. We have who has Cruz has more than two children, right? Who works on the weekend? Who works on the weekend? Uh, Anna Alicia, I guess. I don't remember. Anna, do you work on the weekend? I I work on the teacher. Weekend. Do you work on the weekend? No, teacher, I don't work on, on weekends. Brenda, I work weekend. Brenda works yes, I work on the weekend. And Carla Lorena. Yeah, too. work on the weekend. Okay. Carlita has a pet dog and Alberto doesn't like drinking coffee. Okay, nice, nice. 
work on the weekend too. Yeah. So you work all the weekend, right? No. And one this is a sin teacher. Hmm? I, I read. Uh -huh, but you work, when you work the weekend, you work Saturday, Sunday. And yes. the following weekend, you are free the whole weekend. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I have a question. Who hasn't gone to the beach for the last three years? <laughs> Who hasn't gone to the beach for the last three years? Hasn't. Huh? What is the question, teacher? Who hasn't gone to the beach for the last three years? The last, the last word doesn't can hear you. Who hasn't gone to the beach? Se oye un perrito llorando. No lo molesten, por cierto. Le tortillita. Adolfo. <laughs> le pega al chuchito del vecino. <laughs> A ver. Who hasn't gone to the beach for the last three years? Adriana María. Adriana María. Ok. And the others, have you gone to the beach these three years? Yes. At least, uh, yes, one or two in the year. But this year, last year, the previous one? All the years. Okay. Can you imagine that I haven't gone for, I, I haven't gone to the beach? Mm. Since 2000, I don't know, 19 or 18. With the, when the pandemic came, I didn't go to the beach anymore, but I want to go. Maybe, maybe this year. You have more mm -hmm. than three years. More than three years. Yeah, more than three years without going to the beach. Do you miss this? Hmm? Do you miss? It's, it's impossible, teacher. You have to go. I have to go. Yeah, I have to go. You need. The thing is that I'm more mountain than beach. Hmm. You prefer the mountain? Yeah. Okay. So I have gone to the mountain, but not to the beach. For... Imagine. That's a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, nice. Now, check. Today we're talking about uncertainty, the second part of uncertainty. Remember, uh, yesterday in the in the conversation we were checking couple of expressions, right? Expression of uncertainty. Lo voy a Vamos a ver, lo voy a dejar mute, 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 right now. Ok, vamos a ver, checking. Um, <clears throat> look at the examples, talking about expressions of uncertainty. What is uncertainty? What does, it, what does it mean, uncertainty? Incierto. Mm -hmm. When you're not sure about something, right? And when you need to say yeah. you are not sure about something. So if you're not sure about something, you use this expression. Yeah? Mm -hmm. When you want to say that something may or may not be true, or when you have an incomplete knowledge about the situation, check different three, three cases, right? One, that you're not certain about something. So if you're not certain or you're not sure about something, you can use those expressions. If uh, something may or may not be true, also 
or when you have incomplete knowledge. When you have incomplete knowledge. So if you have, if you don't have all the knowledge about something, you are not sure, right? You cannot be certain about something. Then you say, well, I think it is possible, it is likely, or it is unlikely, right? And check. What is the, the, the punctuation that we use? Use a comma after the expression of uncertainty when they precede a clause. A clause is this. So you say, I would like to say this for certain that. But. So here we begin with the clause. That contrast, right? That current financial situation may lead to layoff. So if we have a clause, we separate it by a comma. If it is like this case, I doubt, and it's very unlikely not to need to be followed by. So if you have, I doubt it is a good idea to hire a 3PL. This is not a, a this is like part of the sentence, right? You don't have a clause separating here. So you do not use a comma. So remember, I doubt, or oh, it's very unlikely, are not separated by comma. But the ones that are the that are longer are going to be separated by comma. Did we get any report on when to expect the products? Not to my knowledge. And there is a pause, right? So whenever we have a pause, we use a comma. And not to my knowledge, I think I can do this. As far as I know, most companies selling goods use a 3PL for at least some domestic function. <laughs> Okay, so not to my knowledge, comma. And then we have the clause. I think they are delayed. As far as I know, most companies selling goods use a 3PL, at least some domestic functions. And I want to share with you some other expressions that we use to express certainty or uncertainty, right? And check here. We have, I'm moving, yeah. Perhaps or maybe, right? These two words are used for saying that you are not certain about something or that something may or may not be true. Right, as we were mentioning before, perhaps it's more formal and is used in writing, while maybe is used more in spoken English, and maybe is informal, right? Maybe it's informal. So you can say, um, "Are you coming tomorrow?" Mm, maybe. I'm not sure, right? I'm not totally sure if I will come or not. So I use maybe. Check the example. I wonder if perhaps he had changed his mind about attending the party. If perhaps when When can you give me an answer? I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. When can you give me an answer? <clears throat> this is speaking, right? Speaking. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. When are you going on vacation? I don't know. Maybe in the middle of December. When are you traveling? 
I don't know. Maybe next year. So remember, we use this expression when you are not certain, right? You're not certain about something. Now, look at this one. Probably or possibly, these two words can confuse even native speakers, right? So probably is used for saying that something is likely to be true and possibly may be true, yeah? But you're not searching. So if I say likely, it's possible to be true, right? So probably is used for saying that something is likely to be true and possibly that it may be true, but you're not sure. What is likely? That is very possible. So it has more possibility to be searching. But this one? Possibly, but no, I'm not certain. I, right? I podría um, ser, no. Mm -hmm, exactly. Likely is podría ser. Podría. Podría, pero tiene okay. más, más posibilidad de ser true que possibly. Ok. Possibly is like, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not very true, not very sure. Ok, likely is there are more possibilities. Exactly, exactly. Ok, thank you. When you use probably, it's more possible that it is true. But when you use possibly, you're not sure, right? You're not sure. And check the examples. If house prices are low, it's probably because there is a lack of demand. Probably. Yeah. So it's likely to be true. There is a lack of demand. Would you consider moving to another country on your own? Would you consider moving to another country for your work? For your work, no, on your own, right? Would you consider moving to another country for your work? Yeah, definitely. Okay. You will say definitely. Others could say possibly. I'm not sure. Right? What about you? What would you say, probably or possibly? Would you consider moving to another country for your work? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Anna? If my have if my family could travel with me, yes. Okay. But but to say the truth. I love my country and I think that I can be part of the part of the sorry Anna por callar al chuchito la callaste. Okay, there you go. Sorry, you can open the microphone. Don't worry. So <laughs> but 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 I am I am a Salvadorian a lover and so to me it will be a very hard decision because i really really love my country me too me too me too somebody asked me would you like to come and teach here in the united states and i was like mm, i don't know i prefer to prepare my people here right okay great great Vaya, let's, ay, puso, espérenme, se puso loco. Okay, now let's see the next expression. We have apparent, teacher. apparently, okay, thank you, before we go to the next one, right? And then we go with apparently, apparently, the teacher forgot to call attendance, <laughs> but it's not true. Well, Apparently, teacher, like the song. 
Yes, apparently. Okay, Adolfo present. Adolfo. Adolfo, hello. Perdimos Adolfo. Adolfo, Adolfo. Present teacher. I'm here. <laughs> no leo. Present teacher. Okay, okay. Now I see you. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Nice. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Nice. Sana. Present teacher. Brenda Alexandra. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Arnoldo. O sea, no. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Eh, Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgar. Pedro Luis. ¿verdad? Saúl Edgardo. Sul Mayanet. Present. Victor. Victor, Victor. <coughs> Fernando. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Very, very good. Now I'm going to check in. So we said apparently. When do we use apparently? Mm -hmm. when, uh, when we are seeing. It's used when what you are saying is based on what you have heard, uh -huh. not on what you know is true and therefore fact. Exactly. So if I'm basing on something that I have heard, I will use apparently. Apparently, it's going to rain tonight, right? Apparently, yeah. the volcano of San Miguel is throwing ash. I have heard. If? I have read. Ah, throwing ash, ash from the volcano. Uh-huh, exactly. So when I use apparently. From volcano. I, I based on what I have heard, but no what I know is true, right? So I don't base in something that I know is true and remember a fact is something that is true, right? But if I'm basing just in what people say, I will use apparently, I'm not sure, right? And you have an example, apparently, she resigned because she had an argument with her boss. Apparently, I'm not sure. I just heard the gossip, people saying that, but I'm not very sure. There is apparently yeah. going to be an announcement about the new CEO tomorrow. Like when you have a meeting at work. The right? new steel. Uh -huh. When you have a meeting yeah. at work and people start a gossiping about what may mm -hmm. be or not, or what may happen, or what they may say in the meeting. Then, as you're not sure, you're just commenting what somebody else already said, we use apparent. Any mm -hmm. question here? Mm -hmm. And this no one, question. Uh, you have already seen this one, right? As far as I... Oh, 
Chismecito. <risa> si reemplazas a quién. Ok, check. As, as far as I know, that would be the structure, right? We had that in the conversation we were practicing yesterday, remember? As far as I am aware. So these two expressions are used when you have partial knowledge of an issue or partial knowledge of a fact. So you don't know the complete information. For example, if you say, as far as I know, we have a meeting next week. So as far as, as I know. As far as I know. So I have some part of the information, but no complete. As far as I'm aware, we have to change offices next year. Okay, so I know part of the information, right? But I don't know everything. And check the example. No one has complained as far as I know. So I haven't heard of anybody complaining, right? As far as I'm aware, the invitations to the party have all been sent. So this, as far as I know, and as far as I am aware, have a same connotation. So they mean the same. Yes? Okay, do you have any question there? Mm -hmm. No question. Not for me. Okay. And then we have this one that we mentioned uh, yesterday in the conversation too. To the best of my knowledge, this phrase is used for saying that you think something is true, but you're not completely certain. This is quite a formal expression. So this is formal, more than this one, right? So instead of saying, as far as I know, we have a meeting next week. To the best of my knowledge, we're having a meeting next week. So this is more formal, right? But I'm not completely sure. So again, this is an expression of uncertainty. And check the example. To the best of my knowledge, yeah. Excuse me. Is that say hasta donde yo sé? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I have some information, but I don't have all, right? So I'm not totally, totally sure. Mm -hmm. And the difference between as, as I, far as I know? Is that this is more formal. Uh -huh. To the best of my knowledge, is more formal than as far as I know. But the meaning is the same. They want to show you uncertainty. Yeah. And look at the example. To the best of my knowledge, no similar book has been published. Yeah. It's not similar? No similar book has been published. Or you mm -hmm. can say, to the best of my knowledge, Nobody has written a book about this topic, right? According to what I know, that's what I'm saying when I use to the best of my knowledge. How do you translate this phrase? No. <laughs> yes, I, 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 mm -hmm. Por lo que yo sé es que. Por lo que sé. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, por lo que sé. Ajá. That would be like the, the closest, right? To, to, uh -huh. to. Uh -huh. But remember, the meaning is the, the only difference is that this one is more formal than the previous one. Right? This is more formal. Now, check one. This one, not to my knowledge. 
This is used for saying that you think something is not true, although you're not completely certain, right? When we say certain, that means I'm not sure completely, right? For example, if, if, I, if you tell me, teacher, do you know if we're having a Christmas party? And I tell you, no, to my knowledge, right? So I don't know. I don't know anything. I have no knowledge about it. Teacher. Yeah. But certainly we are going to have a music concert. Yeah, definitely we will. Right, David and, and Nubia. And another musical instrument that we can find later on. <laughs> okay, check the example. Has the report been sent yet? No, to my knowledge. So that means I don't know, right? But you want to be more formal. But it's like saying, I don't know, right? Any question here? No question? That's right, at the moment, teacher. Okay, great. I want to see you here. Let's see, yeah. Okay, look at the expressions, right? Uh, what you're going to do here is circle the correct expressions. You can find it in your manual, page 22. Page 22. I would like to say this for certain. It's very likely, but we may need to change our distributors. Okay, so for you to work in this exercise, I'm going to stop sharing. You go to your manual, page 22, and I'm going to send you to the room for you to work. Let's see. Page 22. Yeah. 2022. Okay, now. Okay, I have a version. Okay, there will be one group of four or two. Mm. Ah. Okay. Try to join. Okay, fish twenty two. Okay. Access <clears throat> number five, teacher. Yes. Okay. Circle the correct expression. Uh, I I share, uh, Jose Alberto. Okay. Okay, the number one. I wouldn't like to say this for certain. It's very likely. I think it's, it's very likely. It's very likely. I would like to say this. It's very likely, but we may need to change our distributors. Okay. Okay, and the next, did the managers finish evaluating 
the TPR survival. Not in my notebooks. Not to my notebooks. I think. Oh, <laughs> I can I can do the don't worry the line very well okay number three dub it I dub it is I dub I think that if I dub it is effective to hire more than one dear party yes this I doubt uh, it is effective to the best of my knowledge, not to my knowledge. Okay, number four. To the best of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction, not to my knowledge. Uh, I, guess I think that is one. the first. Uh -huh. Yeah. It sounds better. Knowledge. knowledge. And number five. It's very unlikely. It as far as I know. As far as I know. As far as I know. I think there is the second, as far as I know, for a small company. Uh -huh. As mm. far as I know, for a small company to require mm -hmm. Second one, as far as I know. Lean la oración mm -hmm. completa, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> Maybe one of, of our shoes are bad. <laughs> We erase need to read it, it again. Erase, it, erase, it, erase it. Hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Did you finish? No, we are waiting to share. Yes, so, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. So, For certain, for certain, mm -hmm. and not to my knowledge. I doubt to the best of my knowledge, it's very unlikely. unlikely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, hi. Hello. Is, uh, is Saul here, Cruz, or you're alone? I think alone. Oh. <laughs> okay. I have in my in my other cell phone. No no nobody can share teacher. Nobody but, can uh, if I share, I can, let me see. If, I, es que, eh, if I send it no. to you to the WhatsApp, will you be able to share it? Mm -hmm. O sea, sí lo podemos compartir, lo que no podemos es editarlo. 
Ah, okay. But you can write in your notebook, no problem. Por qué? Yeah, I know, in the sí, cell phone. Sí, para darle vuelta a este volado. Aquí tengo yo en mi otro teléfono, eh, ahí tengo el manual, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y estoy viendo las respuestas, solo que no puedo como mostrárselo. Ah, no problem. You can go reading them and write them in your notebook, it's okay. Okay, here is. Mm -hmm. Okay, for me, uh, the distribution need for any company is um, to is to be to be sure in all the process uh, first asking or purchasing uh, raw materials then the production and then distribution channels and to to came to the final consumer as you say to me right Yes or not, my friend? <laughs> yeah, but I think that we need to prepare the oral. And uh, oral, because... oral, pre oral presentation, yeah. yeah. In the second point. Uh, yeah, in the second point. Because it's oral. Mm, don't worry, it's only we have to, to talk about it and to be, and to be sure to use our sentence expression. Okay, so for example, uh, for, for example, in, um, for example, uh, we can use um, not to our knowledge, the company, uh, the company uh, needs to be to be sure. Uh, the only different steps in the logistic service in the logistic service triple service yeah but in the second point saves uh, Okay. Let's see the first one. Uh, Alberto, can you read number one? Yes, teacher. Would wouldn't like to say to say this for certain, but we may need to change our distributors. Okay, very good. For certain. Very good. Number two, Rossi. Okay. Did the managers finish evaluating the triples available? Not to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Not to my knowledge. I pero dice circle, ¿verdad? Así es que no lo puedo subrayar. Ok, number three, Adolfo. Uh -huh. Hello. Chair.
I doubt it is a, I doubt it, it is effective to hire more than one tier party logistic service. Mm -hmm. I doubt. I doubt. I doubt it is effective to hire more than one third party logistics service. Okay, number four, Brenda. Okay. To the best of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Great. To the best of my knowledge, nice. And number five, Anna. Perdimos a Anna. David. Teacher, lo que pasa es que creí que mi ¿Cómo es mi micrófono estaba encendido? Sorry. <laughs> Very unlikely. For a small company to require a logistic global services. Yes, very good. It is very unlikely, right? Okay, good. No questions here? No questions. No teacher, no questions. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Bueno. Now, it's your turn to work. I'm going to send you two groups, but different groups and check. It says in pairs, but I'm going to send you in groups of three because if one disappears, you don't stay alone, right? Think about the distribution uh, needs of a successful international. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Think about the distribution needs of a successful international part, company. You still been something party. Oh, but no. Okay, think of their possible needs and prepare an oral presentation, sketching a basic plan to select a 3PL provider. And then include phrases to express uncertainty, like the ones we were using, right? Vamos a jalar esto para acá. Ahí está. So, what are you going to do? Think about the distribution needs of a successful international company, not a small company, an international company, right? What distribution needs do they have? Teacher, excuse me. Mm -hmm. What it means, distribution needs? needs. The distribution needs. Remember yesterday, we were, yesterday, the day before yesterday, we have been talking about all the things that you need to do, like getting the transportation, oh, okay, okay. packaging, labeling, and all those things that you need to do. Uh, but now imagine all the distribution needs or necessities, right, of a successful, international company. So everything you can do is choose an international company. And then as you have that company, you can focus on the distribution needs that that company may have. Remember uh, that we said, right? We said yesterday, that the third party logistics that you choose will depend on the type of product. That's why I'm telling you first, you can choose the company, right? An international company that you know is successful around, right? So after you have chosen that international company, think about the distribution needs of that company. Yeah. Once you have the needs, think of the possible needs that they have and prepare a presentation. When we say a sketching, es así como hace un esqueleto del plan, 
price to select a 3PL provider. Uh, main point. Um, what are the things that you will consider to select a 3PL provider? But remember that everything will depend on the company that you choose. Yes. And as you explained, if you're going to share your plan with the class, include expressions of uncertainty, like the ones that we were talking before. Any question? No. We have. Um, we need to talk and pre and present. Uh, all the distribution needs, right? Exactly. Okay. But we have we have to use uncertainty expressions. Exactly, because those are the needs that you think. Mm -hmm. The ones that you think are the ones that they have. Mm -hmm. So as you and then you prepare as you have the needs. Then you prepare a plan for selecting the three PL provider that is going to help this company with the needs that it has. Yeah. Okay. Bye. There we go. Any other question before I send you to the groups? No? Oh, yes. No question. Okay. Vamonos. Go. Join. Join, join. Try to join Jose Arnoldo and Saul. Say portrait is your John. Jose Alfredo, hello. or distribution. It, uh, or we can we can talk about the storage capacity, for example, our transportation to the final consumer uh, by this company that we hire, we can, or we need to hire to as a, as a 3PL service company or 3PL, 3PL service company. Could be the delivery time. Okay. For you, it's very important to, to keep in mind the the for example to to be sure on time or about the time to delivery uh, to the during all the process right mm -hmm. okay yes time the first is time then pedro how do you like uh, how or uh, what is your company maybe about in the United States
Nestle, Coffee. maybe. Nestle or Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola Company. Coca-Cola Company. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Think of the possibility needs and prepare. Okay. Yeah, but when when we had the, the name of the company, we need to found the distribution need of in this case Coca Cola. So, yes. for example, they need to uh, a good supply chain. And they need to uh, a good uh, employees, for example, because I think that the product is um, distribution center. Too. Yeah, this distribution center. Um, let me think. And the transportation. Maybe in the distribution could could include uh, the transport. No, 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 no. Uh, a good uh, ad or a good marketing. Uh, marketing. Could, be, could be included in a distribution. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know what do, do you think. Uh, yes. Okay, and the next thing in their possible needs and prepare our presentation. Okay, but we have to sketch a sketching that is like a, I I think that is hmm, making a drug. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a schema. A drawing. Drawing. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, the first could be as the the better the better rose materials to prepare and all the flavors of uh, soda. What? Ha has to the, has the good raw materials to prepare all the sodas. Yeah. You are talking about the the uh, embalaje, no? That's the packing. No, he said raw material. He says. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you, I, I am talking about the, the product. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. I I got it. Okay. Yes, we we can include. So then you can put the 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 packing because in, packing two. In, yeah, the package too. Okay, but it's in the distribution center. No. Mm, no, I guess no. Okay. Okay. In, in, in this case, the package because you had to. A different package of plastic and the. ¿Cómo decir retornado? ¿Ah? Los retornables, ¿cómo decirlo? Eh, not descartable. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the pallets, good, good uh, pallets. 
for uh, the box in that you put the Coca Colas that is with wood the material. But you used to you used to work in pallets, right? Pallets. Pero pallets mm -hmm. son de madera. Yes. You are you are talking about that. I guess that include to the packing. Okay. As as the same, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. how can we do the... The next could be transportation. Transportation. How we do the... The, the presentation. Yes, the presentation. Mm. Okay, we, we can put here... B, successful, sí, no, solo una L. Y vean, porque estamos hablando de algo. <risa> Edwin, <risa> mi... oh. Edwin, 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 Si quieres dejarlo, lo voy a hacer yo. It will need to. Okay. And supply chain distribution center. Uh, what what is? Uh, ah, and raw material. Is here in supply chain. Is included including here. No. The raw material mm -hmm. you're asking. Yes. Including where? Supply chain. Mm, maybe not. We no. Included at the product. Uh -huh. Ah. Okay. Uh, the supply chain could be transport and center distribution. Yeah. Oops. Uh, maybe, by the way, uh -huh. Ah, maybe is uh huh. I have an observation with the equation. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. How does the international warehouse work? How does the international warehouse work? Okay. Uh huh. Okay, receive, receive product, start product, and dispatch product. Okay. Uh, Maybe need more space, algo así. No. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, so now you're telling what they do, what now, what are the necessities that they have? Uh-huh. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice esta palabra? For certain. For certain. Ay, ¿Cómo dice maquilado, ticha? Maquilado. Sí. Oh. Oh. Mm. But what do you mean by maquilado? Maquilado. <risa> o maquilar, bueno, dejamos de maquilar. Entonces, por seguro, eh, for yeah. certain, the product eh, needed is needed o needed. Necesit 
Eh, quiero, decir, quiero decir, necesita eh, distribución. Needs distribution. Needs. Yeah. Sí, sí. Ah, no estoy escribiendo acá. El dictionary. The dictionary doesn't give me a translation for Maquila. For certain, the product needs distribution. Sí, solo que eh, donde dice dispatch product, comma, for certain, the products need distribution. Mm -hmm. Tooling. Assemble. Es que depende de, de ma, por eso le pregunto, maquila como que, de ropa. Es que lo que pasa es que yo le llamo maquilado al producto que es modificado eh, originalmente. Es decir, para algunos países yo le coloco preciado. Le coloco el precio del país. Por ejemplo, lo mando a Colombia, yo le coloco el peso colombiano, el precio de peso colombiano. Para mí ya sufrió una modificación y le llamo proceso de maquila porque hay gente que saca uno por uno cada producto y le va a poner el precio que es colombiano. Igualmente para Perú, para Perú yo le cambio de, porque todo el producto viene en dólar, el precio en dólar. Entonces yo paso todo el producto a maquila. Cuando lo paso a maquila la gente saca cada producto y en este caso para Perú le pone el valor en soles. Oh, I see. Then you can say modify, porque aquí no nos quedaría como uh -huh. así, porque no está armando nada. Ok. Sería... Entonces, no, no, me, no nos metamos ahí entonces. <risa> no, ¿Sabe qué sería? Labeling services. Ah, labeling, yes. The labeling. Labeling, sir, labeling. Mm, yo a veces no lo ocupo como labeling, porque labeling es como colocar una etiqueta. Sí. Pero prácticamente la etiqueta del precio. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, tienes razón. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces. Más términos generales. For certain, for certain, the products need distribution Ajá, for por... everyone, everyone countries. Dice, the maquila service consists in manufacturing or converting products of companies with their own brands in order that they y use them, right? So they recognize them. Uh -huh. Sí, sería como labeling en ese caso. Porque no entra en assembling porque no lo arman, no lo desarman y vuelven a armar, sino que solamente le cambian precios, ¿verdad? Sí, yeah, on label. Sí, se va en la parte de labeling. También que le ponga uh, for sustain the pros need distribution for every country mm -hmm. and labeling the price. Ya. Yeah. Mire, le voy a leer esta otra parte donde ocupan maquila también. Dice, consideran uh -huh. interesados en la compra de ron a, ron, aquí es ron, a granel, alcohol o en el servicio de maquila etiquetado y embotellado. Then that would be finding prospective clients to the purchase of rum in bulk alcohol or assembly line services. Entonces podría ser assembly line services, labeling and bottling. Pero usted en su caso se va en, el, en, el, en lo de la, labeling. Labeling y probably packaging también. La, labeling es doble L, ¿verdad? Eh, no, only one. Solo, only one. Sí, sí lástima que, que no, no hacemos ruta, no porque lo llevara a conocer la bodega. Sí, hombre, vamos. Y hablamos en inglés todo el tiempo. <risa> ahorita, ahorita tengo, bueno, somos la, la el centro de distribución más grande de Centroamérica. Y tengo varios, varios, bueno, varios protejos de ley, pro, procesos de level. Sí. Tengo de costura, que es para todo el tipo de ropa, que le coloca la viñeta de, de composición. Put the brand, right? The new yes. brand of, of the place that where they are going to buy it. Uh -huh. Tengo un labeling de, de alimentos, que por ejemplo, mmm, alimentos llamo, por ejemplo, churros o, o a cosas enlatadas que se le coloca snack. el tema, los snacks, que uh -huh. se le coloca los octógonos, que son altos en sodio. Uh -huh. Son stickers que lleva 
que se dice alto en sodio, alto en azúcares, alto que sea, que es requisito por el Ministerio de Salud para todos los países. Okay. Y Bye. tengo lo que les mencioné. <laughs> We always say like, okay, it's bad for your health. Ah, okay, no problem. Yeah, de algo voy a morir, dice la gente. Nah. Pues sí. <laughs> And they always this. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, a ver. Mm, no sé qué más. Bueno, hasta ahí sería como. Podemos hacer más oraciones así usando. More. Sentence. ¿Qué otro sentence? Por ejemplo, ahí te he descrito lo que hace, todo lo que hace la bodega. Uh -huh. En resumen, va, en resumen. Pero, ¿qué más? Por ejemplo, para el TPL. Store eh... so much product. Uh, bueno. Probablemente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No sé. Start so much product that you probably need more warehouse, maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh -huh. Así como va creciendo, creo que un año. Bueno, ah, pero. Sí, como dijo que era un plan, ¿verdad? Ajá. Plus plan. The plan sell. for choosing the, the TPL. Por ejemplo, teacher. Vaya, if what, what uh, David needs in this company is somebody to give supporting labeling. Ah, oh, yes. I have a, a three... Hay como ese proveedor. Provider. Providers. Three providers for labeling. Ok. That, that is your three party. Right? Sí, the three party. Is, is Ranza, Jover. And I don't remember the, the other. Ajá, uh -huh, because if, imagine if you for all, for all, que not only Central America, right? Central and South America. Central and South America. Uh -huh. Then you need a lot of people to, to help you labeling. So the outsourcing can go there in the area of labeling and packaging. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. I, for example, I, I need or oh, I work the outsourcing for inbound for album for distribution, for operator of the lift drop, for labeling, and that's it. For all. <laughs> no, for supervisor is I. You are a four PL, not a three PL. No, not three PL. Ransa, for example, is three PL. Uh -huh, but if you still outsource some of the things that you do, no, uh, I'm a supervisor, a coordinator, all the operation. Okay. Then, Ransa only uh, my proportion, me proporciona uh, only the outsourcing the the staff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I administrate. But you administer, so you don't yes. administer everything. You have yes. I am Nisre, I supervise, and I uh, coordinate every everything. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then that, that's a, a 3PL. A 3PL, yes. Excellent. Well, let's go. Let's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Uy, no se vinieron. Dale fue a minutes, digo seconds. <laughs> I said, ¿qué? No se vinieron, but I see you're coming. Good, good, good. Ok, vamos a ver everybody here. Nice, nice. Let's listen to a couple of you who wants to share. A volunteer. Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. A victim. A victim. A ver. José Alberto. <laughs> A victim. Okay, teacher. Our team is with Brenda. Brenda is help me. Yes, I help you. I share the screen. Okay. I can see them. Okay, so. I we choose the uh, Nike and then we talk about the distributions they need for triple TPL needed. And our customer service, warehouse, transport, production planning in purchase purchasing. And the sketching, the first sketching the, the, they have is this. It's a, a little plan to select a GPL provider. Yes. I don't okay, know. I? Uh -huh. okay. Quieres, do you want to explain a little? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, okay, in the in uh, in the second part, uh, we thinking uh, for the possible needs and prepare the presentation and sketching a basic plan to to the TPO provider. And the first uh, part, uh, we need to to do a checklist for a future needs. Is the, the the first part, but it only the the idea and is not developed all the time uh, in the second part determine the determine a plan or process to possible choose to the tpl service and uh, the third part is to select the best option, the TPL, to the best of our knowledge for our company needs. Okay, great, great. Excellent. I see that you have used possibly and you have used to the best of my knowledge. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the others, I will listen to you tomorrow because it's 10 and you will say, teacher, vamonos. Yay. Because <laughs> you will sleep chilly. You, know sure. <laughs> hey, you will sleep nice because you are free, free, free. Okay, let's see Adolfo Rivas. Present teacher. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. Present. I'm here. Okay, Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Anna. Good night. Good night, Anna. Brenda Alexandra. Present teacher. Ru, eh, Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Good 
Pues, David. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Eh, Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin Adonai. Kevin. Mauricio. Good night. Nubia Surema, good, good night, Mauricio. Present teacher. Present. Pedro Luis. Saúl Edgardo. Present. Hoy José Arnoldo se queda conmigo. Pulma Janet. Present. Victor. Fernando. Present teacher. And Rosy. Present teacher. Excellent. Well, see you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Good night, everybody. Nice night. See you. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Teacher David, no me quiere hacer caso. Le digo que haga la tarea en el trabajo pensando y no quiere, fíjese. <risa> Rosy va a presentar mañana eso. Ah. Pero él lo va a hacer en el trabajo. Yeah. Vaya, vaya. Good night. Good night. God bless you. <risa> Good night. Good night. Hi, José Arnoldo. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Okay, great. Hi. Well, tell me, do you have any comments, any questions, any doubts that you would like to share? No, I don't I don't have questions. No questions? I no problems with the platform? No, I only finished the first week, but all, all good. Okay. Uh, tomorrow maybe I finish the second. Okay. Right? Let's see, I'm, I'm checking, I'm checking. Uh, number four. So you have done only unit number one. Do you mean? Yes. Okay. Yes. No unit number two yet. I'm going to be collecting grades of unit number two on Friday. So this some people already finished. José Arnoldo, José Arnoldo, me aparece José yes. Arnoldo, la unidad 1 me aparece solo con el 60%. Um. Eso significa que le faltan... Mm. Uh -huh. You have you missing you're missing the uh, you're missing let me see me the number assignment number four and number five according to what I see here. Number four and number oh, okay. four. Uh -huh. Solo ha hecho one, two, three. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Missing. Sorry. Uy, Sorry. Ya, ya, se Sorry. Me, ya se me atrasó bastantito porque ya a esta altura ya debería de estar en la unidad dos, terminando casi la unidad dos. Y ya por la mitad del examen de medio curso. Oye. Ok, ya. 
tomorrow I, I check mm. and I finish. Yeah. Yeah. So by Friday, you are totally ready. Because with the time that is running, we need to, to check. And if you have any questions, remember that you can ask to us, right? And we can help you if, if you need anything. But up to the moment, no questions about the topics that we're studying? Mm -hmm. No questions about the topics of the class? Hello? Your microphone is closed, Jose Arnoldo. Yes. Um, just, just an observation, Jose, Jose Arnoldo, because this is, a, a remember that it is very important to interact and to participate, right, with the others. Uh, for example, when I send you to the groups, it is very important that you help, that you collaborate, that you discuss with the others. And also when we are working in as a group, right? I need that you get involved a little bit more, that you give your opinion, that you answer uh, the questions that we're sharing. Mm -hmm. As we're discussing, because that's part of the of the learning, right? Uh, getting involved in all the in all the activities that we have, not just listening, but trying to express uh, your opinion too, trying to share what you know. And if you don't understand something, also you can ask, right? So remember that the you ask questions, we can help you. But when you don't speak, it's more difficult for us to help you, right? That's why it is very important yes. as, uh, that you that you share, that you feel free to, to speak and be free to, to talk with the others and to share what you think, to share your knowledge, right? It's part of it's part of the learning. And if, for example, if you say I, but it's very difficult for me, don't worry. Everybody here is learning. And the purpose, right, is that you get more exposed to the language and that you share. Right? Because one of the things that are going to be very important for you in, in the in your job probably is a speaking and i know speaking is one of the things yes like, no but i'm scared no but i'm embarrassed but don't feel like that right remember it is very important to get involved right and to talk and if you make a mistake it doesn't matter right it doesn't matter the idea is that when you when you chair or when you give your opinion, when you express, when you use the language, it, the most you learn, right? And you're getting more familiarized with the use of the language when you start listening to the others and when you start using the language, okay? So I hope to have you, okay. I hope to have you more active in the next classes. we we'll still have time. We're, about the middle of the course. So I hope to have you more, more, uh, more active and I hope you can learn, you can enter to the groups because today I saw you were out of the groups when I called you. But, but only once, mm -hmm. only in, in, the, in the last time. The last I'm time, sorry. what happened, the internet? No, no I was, skip, I was uh, speaking with my mother. Oh. Oh, she she is from um, the United States. Oh, you were on on a phone call. Mm -hmm. But yes. that that's a good chance. Talk to your mom in English. <laughs> Take advantage. <laughs> yeah. 
say, mom, we're going to speak in English because I need to practice. She will be happy to hear you speaking in English, right? That's a, a good practice because you can do something that you really love and, and practice the language too. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you have any question, uh, Arnoldo. No, oh, all is fine. Okay, perfect. See you tomorrow then. I hope you have time. If not tomorrow, but at least on the weekend, right? So on Monday, when I give the last check to collect the unit number two and the midterm exam, you can be ready. Okay? Yes, yes. I finish. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Have a nice night then. See you tomorrow. Good night. See Bye -bye. you. Yes, you. Bye-bye.